Hello, today we're looking at Azus Tours XMB software uh, that runs the Media Center functions um, directly from the NAS uh, through the HDMI port and out to a TV. We have the new the new Azus Tour remote control. Uh, there's not a whole lot of features on it, not a lot of buttons, but it gets the job done. Let's turn the system on. You'll find that the system boots up fairly quickly, uh, a lot faster than some of the media players I have here at home. Um, there are several functions, and the NAS is set up to uh, pretty much work right out of the box. Here's an example. This is the weather function. I didn't set this up. Uh, it just automatically pulls uh, my region from the IP address and gives me my weather. And it looks like we've got rain, 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 and then a clear day, 68. Uh, maybe it'll be good to ride that day. Uh, there are a ton of different features here. Um, we threw a few pictures in. Um, Chad Sebring, uh, when he was at my house a few years ago, uh, we got to get him in here. Um, just flip through, and you can click on a picture and scroll through, just left and right. It works really good. Um, also, all the major categories have add-ons, and I just hit the wrong button for that, but, so picture add-ons. These are different software uh, packages, and all together I would say there has to be at least seven or eight hundred um, for everything. This one here, there's maybe twenty. Um, but the different packages, um, they're all over. Plus, you can load up programs. Um, and this is the one that'll get you because there are a lot. And you just keep scrolling on and on and on and on. Um, let's go back to the main menu. Of course, Media Center means movies and any more. Uh, for a bunch of us, that means we want Blu ray ISOs. So you can go to your menu. Uh, these are three different movies I put on real fast. They are uh, completely different formats, everything plays really nice plays really quickly. This is World War Z in a Blu-ray ISO. It's about 42 gigabytes. Everything starts pretty quickly. Later on in the video I'll show you um, the different menus and the setup options. Uh, this is just playing through a regular TV, not a not a home receiver, so it's just set up for 2.0 audio, but the options give you 7.1, 7.0, 5.1, 5.1, and so on. Let's back up out of here. Uh, you can see you can still scroll through the menus while the movie's still playing. Let's stop the movie gone so there is a actual movies tab um, for some reason we have not got blu-ray ISOs to show up here um, but the other movies show up just fine put it in play it's off to the races go to the next one 
As you can see, the system is really, really quick. Now I've got a AC Ryan uh, Play on HD, and it's nowhere near this fast when going through the menus and playing movies. There's sometimes, you know, a one or two minute delay trying to go from one movie to another. Um, but the Azus Tour system is actually really quick. I don't want to play a movie for very long. I don't want to get the MPAA uh, on me. Uh, you've got music. We loaded up a couple different file types. These are MP3 files that we're going to play first. Everything goes very, very quickly. Now let's go back. This is a FLAC file. Now, watch in the right hand corner. Let me turn this down. Watch in the right hand corner because most of us FLAC files do not get the picture. Uh, the Zeus Tour system will go out, download that, and put it right there. Yep. It's some old school stuff. You can go in over here, go full screen. Uh, you see in the bottom, right in the middle, it shows flack and lossless. Um, and there are several different, uh, several different screens you can play. I'll show you the different setups here in a minute. Come over here to the menu. I hit the wrong button again. Oh. Alright, so we stop the files. Let's go back to the main menu. Uh, music has several add-ons. Um, this one I found it is a radio station that has several different channels, I guess you would call them. Um, you could just scroll through, you can add radio stations galore. Um, everything plays fairly quickly, even though it's all coming off the internet. Of course, if you have kids upstairs downloading Battlefield 4, then it's going to take a little while. Comes through really good. Just go back over. Turn it off. Go through. And as I said, as far as the different add-on packages, there are several. Um, these are all radio stations, but uh, there's searches, uh, clients that will reach out and grab um, your metadata. It, it would be impossible to go through each one of these uh, and explain them all, but there's a significant amount. Here we're back at the main menu. Let's look at the system setting options, appearance, different skins, um, we need to scroll down to get more, and you can just go on and on and on to your heart's content, finding a different skin that looks good on your TV. Settings for the skins. Language settings, file settings, and so on. Here's your video options. Uh, these are for the library. Playback. The file list. Subtitles. DVD settings. Live TV with an optional 
TV tuner. Uh, in some countries, you could actually watch live TV from your NAS. Music settings, uh, how your library is set up, how your music's displayed, different volume adjustments, crossfading between songs, uh, different different screens while it's running. Uh, this one's always nice. Your tagging. And a setup for audio CDs. Picture settings. Your weather settings in case you want to change or just shut that off. You can add locations. This one here, like I said, it filled out the setting automatically uh, from my IP, excuse me, my IP address. Settings for your add-ons, all 800 or so. Um, one of these days I'll get time to go through all these and see what I like. But there are several. Subtitle settings. video add-ons again. Now, some of these are actually TV channels that are IPTV. Um, so you can add several channels. And of course these show up without the uh, without the TV tuner. Let's go ahead and add this one. So we can install a package and show it working. There it's already installed. Uh, let's go back to the main menu. Should be under videos. Video add ons. CBS News. And 60 minutes. Pick one. Like I said, both of my kids are downloading Battlefield right now, so everything on the internet is going to be kind of slow, but I think it's working pretty quickly. Unconscionable because as many as 40 million Americans have a mistake on their credit report. That, according to a new government study. In our own investigation of the credit reporting industry, shows those mistakes can be nearly impossible to get removed from your record. So really, you can't do anything for me. I've just been talking to you for 15 minutes. I mean, the only thing you can do is to tell me to fill it out online. Yes, Mr. Croft. And then here we are. Let's go back to the main menu. Stop the video. And that's pretty much it in a nutshell. There are several other little features. Uh, you can see how your system is running, your NAS, memory used, CPU use, um, the amount of data you have on your hard drives, network information, uh, video rendering, and of course the hardware involved. It's the Intel Atom processor running at 1.6 gigahertz. And back to the main menu and power. The system shuts off very quickly. Uh, goes into hibernation mode. Or there we can turn it back on and it comes up very fast. So let's go straight back to files. Movie folder. World War Z. Play.
There it goes. Of course, I hit the wrong button again. There we go. Well, that's it for our tutorial for the Azus Tor uh, software. I'm going to sit back and enjoy a movie. Uh, we'll see you next time.